I bet you if I turn this to like 540 degrees, we might be a little bit better off. There we go. Oh, we're getting it now. Yeah, there we go. We got this. Oh, no, we don't. <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm Yvonne Rabbit. We're here on a set of Corsa staring at an F1 car. So, Moza Racing has the amazing FRS wheel. So today, we're going to take this F1 car, which has been slightly modified, and get sideways with it, with the standard R5 wheel. And then, we're going to put on the FSR wheel and see how hard it is to drift with a race style wheel. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all which you found in the description box below. Let's get to it. So when I say this has slight modifications, uh, we have a little bit of steering lock. <laughs> and uh, we do have a handbrake, but we're not going to use it. And we're just going to see if we can actually get sideways with this thing with the normal wheel first. We do have a clutch, so. Oh man, this is, is going to be a little bit more complicated than I thought, drifting an F1 car. Oh, we are a slip slide away on the front tires. I mean, we can kind of slide, but we're going to see how it really works. Oh, this is very uh, easy on throttle because, well, the car is on factory F1 tires. <laughs> We're on medium, uh, I believe medium tires. So we are running. The only thing that we did change was physics and uh, steering lock on this car. So everything else is a factory Indy car or F1 car. So, okay. And the Moza Racing R5 it does feel fun, but we are actually be going with the actual uh, FSR wheel. It's all about throttle control with this, because the <laughs> weight transfer of this car is not the best. And his hands are freaking out because it's not the wheels not used to going one full 90 or 900 degrees. But you know, kind of can crab walk that. We may need to get some uh, grippier tires or change some uh, settings around. It's the transitions that get me because of the weight. The weight of this car is nothing compared to a normal drift car, and the center gravity is definitely very different. Try to take this path. Oh, it's those huge snapbacks that are definitely uh, screwy with this car. So we can manage to actually uh, get some lines. So. The car is capable. The car is definitely capable. So if we stay in throttle, we're much better off. And don't fully get off throttle. Okay, all right, so we got, we got solid line there. So we're going to switch to the FSR wheel now. Let's get back on track. We do have a handbrake, but we're not using it. So we're gonna switch to the FSR wheel now. Quick, take this wheel off. Place that to the side. Click in our FSR wheel. We 
And, uh, well... Oh, this is gonna be... This is gonna be hell. This is gonna be hectic. Alright, let's do it. I'm not sure how this is gonna work. Because I have nothing to grab when it starts rotating. Oh, man. Yep, there's nothing to grab. You kinda gotta get it in its place. <laughs> See, when it's upside down or in that, so we kind of got to just keep the car in massive lock. Because then I'm at a good grip position for the wheel. Oh, boy. This is not easy. I thought drifting the F1 car was hard to begin with, but, uh... Add this wheel to it. No. Oh, man. Oh man, I'm trying to grab the top of the wheel, but there's nothing really to grab. We may be out of tires too. I think we're out of tires. Yep, we might be out of tires. Let's go back to pits, grab some fresh tires. Let's get some fresh tires. I don't know why my curse is here. Heat up the tires a little bit. This is gonna be, this is so much harder with this wheel. It's a lot of fun actually. Nope. He needs to get kicked. It needs to go almost a full rotation around in order for me to uh, directly get it. I bet you if I turn this to like 540 degrees, we might be a little bit better off. There we go. Oh, we're getting it now. Yeah, there we go. We got this. Oh, no, we don't. <laughs> we had it, and then we didn't. So drifting an F1 car in an F1 style wheel. This is <laughs> definitely a challenge, to say the least. And uh, for all those people out there that got this FSR wheel, um, Give this a challenge yourself. I'm very curious. Yeah, we have no tires. Well, let's go back to pits and try one more set of tires. We're going to go full grippy, boys. We're going to go super softs. See if that helps with the grip. Maybe in the front. Okay, I don't need clutch. I don't know how this is gonna work. One final send. Oh, that's way grippier. Don't get stuck. Okay. We did not get stuck, we're good. Oh, that's really grippy. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this on Super Shops. Oh my god, that's so grippy. Tires? What tires? Oh, yeah, nope. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all the problems, description box below. So a little bit fun today, taking an F1 car with Moza Racing's F1 style wheel, their FSR. And trying to drift on this wheel is definitely a challenge. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll follow in the description box below. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.